in reality, it's going to come out, it's going to go over this, it's going to go all over the place, and it's going to go everywhere. So make sure when you undo this bolt, you're in the neighbor's yard, okay? Not yours. All right, guys, so here we go again with another awesome review video of another awesome lawnmower. I like this brand. Um, they have really put out some good equipment, and they got a lot of power. So this one's the 209cc, four-stroke, self-propelled, 21-inch, three-in-one mower. So three-in-one means it can bag, it can mulch and it can side discharge. So that's really nice. The self propulsion is really good. This is not my first rodeo with this brand and with this exact mower. The only thing I don't know about this one is what color it is, but I really like this mower. It's a really strong mower and I'm gonna link um, to a video I did using this model mower last year at a customer's house, which is unbelievable. I'll link to it in the video description and I'll link to it up here. You guys are really gonna like it. Uh, it's got a lot of power. So without wasting anybody's time, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and uh, start assembling it. Now, one thing about um, when you order this through Amazon or whatever, it, when it arrives, it's in a nice heavy duty box. They ask that you save the box because if there's ever any warranty issues or anything like that, when you contact them, they're gonna send you back the shipping label and everything. You're gonna put the mower back in the box, you're gonna put the label on it, and you're gonna send it back for warranty work, all right? So save your box. Otherwise, you're gonna be on your own, you're gonna to have to do it locally, and you're not gonna be able to send it back for warranty work. Um, so just pay attention to that. Me, personally, I do my own repairs anyways. I would never send something back for warranty. To me, it's just not worth it. So, I mean, unless the thing detonates, uh, but that ain't gonna happen. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut into the box and pull everything out and um, let you guys see what comes in this thing and how it comes and more importantly, how it's assembled. So Amerisun is an American company out of, uh, what is it, Itasca, Illinois, I believe is what it's called. And they run the PowerSmart brand, right? Nice big bag. It's like a 1.5 or 1.75 bushel bag. So holds quite a bit. It's actually a, a nice bag. Um, and it flows really good. So you get your side discharge chute. Will also be loose in the box. There'll be some inserts, some foam inserts or whatever that you just gotta kinda get out of your way because if you try to lift the mower out with these foam inserts in the way, it's a little bit hard to do and it's meant to, you know, keep the mower from, what's the word I'm looking for, moving around. So it's kind of a tight fit. Um, and then you have the bag, and the bag comes with a spark plug wrench. It comes with a couple of little cable things that hold your cable, and I'll show you all that. Comes with the maintenance book, um, the manual, a little funnel to put your oil in. Um, but it does not come with the oil. So you have to make sure that either the machine comes with oil in it or you pick up the right oil and you put your oil in yourself. So you need to pay attention to that. And we're going to figure that out because I personally don't remember. So from here, what I'm going to do, I'll just cut the box and slide it out. Because like I said, I'm not worried about warranty return. I didn't pay for it anyway, so they send me these things to do review videos. Look at that, huh? It's a pretty red. I like it. I like it a lot. Oh boy. That really is a pretty red. And there we go. One uh, bad to the bone, 209cc mower. Couple zip ties on the handles. Get those out of the way. They're really super easy to assemble. Don't let it intimidate you. You think a lawnmower is hard to put together. 
PowerSmart puts these mowers together for you all the way. All you need to do is put the handle in place, drop oil and fuel. That's all you got to do. And I'm going to show you guys right now how to put the handle in, how to set the handle up. It's really super simple to do. So inside the bag, what you're going to get are these bolts. There's one. Two, these bolts right here, and they actually even give you the tool that you can use to put the bolts together, as you see. You don't even need your own wrenches. These bolts are going to go right here, right here, to hold the handle in place. All right, one's going to drop right here, and one's going to drop right there. That is the extent of assembling this lawnmower. Other than that, put oil, put fuel and you're down the road. And then you, you just run your cable with that little clip and I'll show you that in just a second. We'll go ahead and use their tool, why not? It's probably a 10 millimeter socket if you wanted to use your own. But so all you gotta do is open this up, okay? And then you'll get these little handles here. The little knobby things, tighten it down. Same on this side, tighten this down. Okay, so there is a label here that says recommended use oil SAE 10W30. Don't start the engine without oil. So you need to make sure that you got oil on hand, all right, 10W30. And I remember from doing previous videos, that was a good oil to use for the climate. So depending on the climate that you're at, kind of depends on the oil. If you're mowing snow in Alaska and it's really cold all the time, you're going to want a thinner oil. If you're down in the south like we are, or, or even down in Florida or something like that, you're going to want a little bit of a thicker oil. So when it gets hot running, it doesn't um, thin out to like water. So you might use a 10W40, um, maybe a 20W50, depending on the manufacturer's recommendations. So now you see how I just stood that up like that, right? That's all you do. And then you drop these bolts right here and they're threaded in. Once you do this, this mower is assembled. It's a wrap. You don't have to do anything else. You got the tool that they gave you and you just stick this in here like this and then you use it to tighten it down. Like I said, probably, man, this is pretty red. It's probably a 10 millimeter, um, but I'm not for sure on a socket, but this tool is pretty nice. So while I have you guys as a captive audience, I would like to explain my relationship with PowerSmart. Um, so PowerSmart and I are under a, a contract agreement that I will do um, review videos, assemble and review videos of their products. They're going to send me their products, um, three a month, right? And I can do whatever I want with those videos or with these products, I mean these items. I can keep them, I can sell them, I can do, I can give them away, I can do whatever I want. They're mine, all right? With that said, I am not a hired gun. They know full well that if they send me garbage, I'm gonna let you guys know that I think it's garbage, that I don't think it's the best use of your money, okay? true story. I will never do a review video and be paid to, to tell you what I think about this mower or any mower from any brand. Okay. Power Smart's not the only company that I'm working with. I have more um, different items that are coming and I will give you honest reviews. If this mower was not a good mower, I would tell you that I've already done a review on this machine and that it's not a good mower and that this is only a, a video on how to assemble it because it's not worth anything else. 
That is not the case. This is a killer mower. This is the horizontal shaft mower. I love this mower. This mower, the one that I have, the black one that I have, has replaced my snapper uh, 20 inch self propelled mower. I no longer use that mower. I use this mower. I use the black one that I have. I will continue to use the black one that I have. And it, that mower will be my mower of choice this season. This mower is going to be sold. Um, I will sell it for probably 50% of retail and let somebody get themselves a nice machine. So, but I want you guys to understand there's no way I am going to sit here and tell you guys that a machine is good if it's not. So that's my little disclaimer to you guys. All right, now let's get back to it. You have one lever in the front to do your front axle and you have one lever in the back to do your back axle. Just like so. Okay, so one more thing that you get is they give you this clip right here and you can put your wires in it and it's got, it's got the two holes or I should say two grooves or whatever right here. So you put your two wires in there and then clip it around your handle. It just sits around the handle. There's no rhyme or reason as to where you put it. You put it anywhere you want. You can put it up here. You can put it down here. I think I'd rather put it down here so it doesn't get caught on, you know, different things, tree branches and, you know, bushes, shrubs, whatever. Okay, like this, like this. It holds everything nice and out of the way. And there you go. So you have that. You got this tight. You got this tight. You got this nice and snug right here. Okay. I showed you your one lever right here. Okay. The bag has these two little rails right here. Super easy. And I can't get over how pretty this mower is. Okay, the bag just simply sits, there's little groove right at the end of the handles where you just put those bolts. You just drop those little rails right in that little groove. It's, it's really so simple, right? That's it. Now you can bag and this is the side chute. The side chute has these two little risers right here. You have a spring right there and the risers go right behind the spring all right it's that easy just sit it down now in this configuration you can side shoot and bag at the same time and the cool thing about that is if you got something really thick going on or you got some wet grass going on then you know your bag is going to fill up really quick if you don't want so much side shooting because then that's going to cause a nightmare toward the end then you can do both you can side shoot and bag at the same time so some of the stuff is going to go out the side shoot and some of the stuff will go in the bag not necessarily 50 50 but whatever it is it's going to be a help either way you got less going out the side shoot and you're not filling your bag up as fast so you can still get some of the clippings and leaves and stuff off the property if you need to while you're doing some side shoot type work okay and then that'll help keep the blade moving in other words it helps um it, it helps with processing the clippings all right so sometimes the biggest problems that we have in mowing is we can't process the clippings the deck isn't good enough uh, so this configuration right here tremendously helps any mower regardless of the brand process the clippings so there you go. All right. One more thing to do before you put the oil in, and I'll show you where you put that in just a second, is you set this handle up. So you want to you want to squeeze this right up here. I, I, let me see if you can see that. Just barely. Let's scoot. Get you up a little bit. So you want to squeeze this handle up here, right? And take this up here. And there's a, a, a little loop thing right here. You just kind of put this in there so it stays. So now you don't have to reach down to start it. You got it right here, okay? 
And the reason why you squeeze this down is with, if you don't squeeze these down on, on these mowers, then it's really hard to spin the engine. So squeeze this down and very slowly and easily bring it up. All right, don't go fast because then you're trying to start it and you don't have oil in it. All right, so let me show you where the oil goes. Right here is where you put the oil. Right here is where you drain the oil. Now they give you a little hole right here, okay? So if you pop this loose, all right, the oil's gonna come out and it's supposed to go into this little valley and then go down this drain and you have a drain pan underneath your mower and that's where it's supposed to go, all right? That's in theory. In reality, it's gonna come out, it's gonna go over this, it's gonna go all over the place and it's gonna go everywhere. So make sure when you undo this bolt, you're in the neighbor's yard, okay? Not yours, okay? Um, and then, like I said, here's where you put the oil. And they give you the funnel, which is really nice. You put your oil in, and there you go. Now, we also did a video, and I'll link to that video as well, about this right here. This is a gear-driven shaft, okay? Inside here, the engine is spinning. All right, this way, kind of like an edger, all right? It's spinning this way, and it's got a ring and pinion to a shaft going down, and then it's got a belt to the mower, or to the blade, okay? To like a spindle, like a big commercial mower. So we took this apart, and I'll put that video in the video description. We took this apart to see what's in there. It's very well greased, it's very heavy duty, and it is very much going to last longer than you. So I have no fear on this. Like I said, I took my PowerSmart 21 inch self propel 209 CC four stroke mower and it replaced all my other mowers, including my snapper. Replaced it because I liked it that much. So rest assured about this horizontal shaft situation. It's pretty neat. That's all I can tell you. It's pretty neat. So oil goes in here. Fuel goes in here, okay, and then there's a little button right here. That, that's how you prime it, right here, and then you squeeze your handle and you crank it. The first time you go to crank it, you're going to pull probably about 10, 12 times, okay? Don't worry. You're priming it. You're priming the carburetor. You're getting everything ready to go. Uh, that's just the way it is. All right. One more thing. Let me show you the air cleaner because that's that is important. The air cleaner is right here. So that's all you got to do. And then you can take this and rinse it with a garden hose. Um, you can let it soak in a little bucket of some detergent uh, and then let it air dry. So you don't have to buy filters. You don't have to buy air cleaners anymore. Those days are over. They give you that really nice uh, foam air filter, okay? Side chute, take it off, that's it. Now you're, you're only bagging, take it off. And that is strong right here. So I don't know if you've ever used a cheap mower that this would let fuel or um, clippings come flying out and get all over you. This is strong. So, and then you can just side shoot if you want. So you can, you can mow, you can side shoot, you can, uh, or you can bag, you can side shoot and you can mulch. It's all, all completely up to you, however you want to do it. Um, here's the levers to raise it up and down. Fuel, what are your questions? Put it in the description or uh, uh, in the comment section and I will certainly answer them. If you look right here, they did give you the oil. <laughs> but you can't see it because it's red on the red and they got it shoved in here and it's not easy to get out. But there's actually 10W30 motor oil sitting right here. You can't see it because the red on red and I didn't even know it, but there you go. And it's 16.9 ounces. And I remember from my previous video, it's exactly the amount you need. You put this whole thing in there and that's exactly what you need. So all you do, like I said, my 
I got a whole bunch of cars stopping because I got a whole bunch of Power Smart and Wesco and all types of stuff sitting out on the street with a for sale sign. Because I have so much equipment, I don't need it. The only thing I want is my black one just like this. This one's for sale. So oil goes in. Try not to make a mess because we are pretty boys and girls. Put this back in. And this mower is ready to sell. Ready to go. Well, guys, girls, that's it. 209 cc, four stroke, self propelled 21 inch, bad to the bone, horizontal shaft, gear driven, gear driven, this side. Push type lawnmower. I freaking love this thing. Power Smart, you can send me all the ones you want and I will keep assembling them on video and I will keep making my neighbors happy with discounted sales for them. And uh, we're gonna have this whole block, a Power Smart block, um, if I have my way because it's worth it. So um, that's it guys, that's how you assemble. Well, that's the unboxing and how you assemble and quick little demo on how to get this thing ready to go. All you gotta do now is put some fuel in it, prime the ball right here about five, six, seven, eight times and start yanking. And, and that's it. There she goes. All right. I'll see you guys on uh, the next one.